Today we're working with our friends at Mies Outland in beautiful St. Cloud, Minnesota. Hi folks, I'm Mies with Two Guys in a Ride. Today Rob and I are out here in St. Cloud, Minnesota and we're at Mies Outland and again we're with Cody and we have got uh, two interesting uh, ATVs behind us because as you know as parents sometimes you want to get your kids started yeah. in the off-road world and you're always looking for ideas about where to start we got two great products so Cody tell us what we have right behind us yes yeah, so behind us we got a Sportsman 110 and an Outlaw 110 both from Polaris so they're a 110 cc kids machine good for kids 10 and up okay so let's let's talk about this one here and then we'll come over to the other one there um, first of all when you buy one of these you get a helmet included in the price correct so for all of polaris's youth machines they include a helmet for every passenger that the mach machine is rated for so these being a one passenger they'll come with one helmet um, versus their side by sides would come with two youth helmets okay and th what i love is the helmets are color coordinated with the graphics and the color on the particular ATV that they go with. That's correct. Ah, that's just awesome. Okay, so 110 cc's. Um, let's talk about the, the front end. You got um, basically a, a coilover springs for shocks. Yep, with your lower control arms. Okay, and then you have got uh, drum brakes, yep. front and rear. That's correct. Okay, and then you got, um, of course, a little wider tires. Uh, than the than the back, which you would be standard. Yeah. Okay. Um, you've got up in the front here. You've got uh, dual headlights. Yep. So actually, they're both going to be LED headlights on them as well. Oh, so they you are. Get nice bright, clear light out of them. Okay. Now this part, you can't it doesn't come across good on camera, but that's that's just plastic right there. But those are your dual headlights, which is really neat. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're functioning. They're not just. That's correct. Okay. Now uh, coming up here. Uh, one of the things is apparent you all are concerned about is can I limit the throttle um, on the vehicle? Yes, so from the factory they should be coming set pretty restrictive, uh, but you do have just your little set screw here. You can back that out and it allows the throttle to open up more and get more power out of it. As the okay. kid gets older and gets a little more comfortable on it, you can always back that out. Okay, so you can definitely adjust that so you can feel safe about where your kid's riding mm -hmm. uh, and not going you know faster than you want them to go. That's at, correct. You know, any, turn up incrementally. All right, now, you also have, of course, just your standard throttle. Uh, this is, you would be your rear brake. Yep. So over here on the front brake, you have an interesting little mechanism right here. You want to tell us what that is? Yeah, so you can actually set the brake on here. So if you're putting it in the back of your pickup or on the trailer, just a good little safety mechanism, much like all the adult size ones are going to have, you can put that in there and it holds the brake shut. It's pull it and it clicks and then off it goes. Correct. That's nice. All right, uh, horn. Yep, you get a horn on the front there. This is going to be your kill switch here. So put it up in the on position with your key in the on position. Just hold this yellow button here and it should start. Okay. Wow. Now, in addition to that, you've got some dummy lights. There's no, you know, uh, gauges or anything, but you do have a uh, low fuel. Yep, low fuel light. Speaking of which, how many gallons tank? Is, is, is this like a gallon or is this? I believe it's right around two gallons. Right around two gallons. Gallon and a half or so. Something like that. Okay. Look down in the description below and we'll have that listed for sure. All right, you got a check engine light and then a reverse and a neutral light, which is what you need. You don't want the drive one coming on because you'll be yeah. in there most of the time, but you yeah. do want to know when you're reverse or neutral. Yeah. Okay, and of course you got the safety uh, connect right here. In case yep. you go off it, it shuts off the machine. Yep. So the kid falls off. Hopefully that never happens, but just have this wrapped around the wrist. If they ever do fall off, that'll pull right out. Um, we always like to give people that reminder because we've gotten it plenty of times where they called and said it doesn't start, won't start, why won't it start? Uh, that's been disconnected. Usually the tether's not plugged all the way on. Okay. And, and that's just, a safety device. It's the same thing folks we see on boats. Correct. Okay. So anything like any sort of watercraft has these on them standard. Okay. So uh, you got nice footrest areas right here. Yep. You got your gear shift lever right there. And there's, there's no clutch on these things. It's just come to a stop, shift. Correct. And then go. Yep. Okay. Now, underneath the seat, you do have a couple of things. What do you have underneath the yeah. seat? So underneath the seat here, you got a little gray lever. Just do that and it pops the seat up. So underneath here, you have your battery and your air filters underneath there. All right. So easily accessible. And of course, your oil fill and check is both right down here. That's correct. So again, really easy to get at. Of course, you got a nice little grab handle or a tow handle. Yep. Either one right there. LED backlights. 
Yes, yep, you got your tail light there, should be LED as well. Okay. Um, one single bigger shock in the rear there with a straight axle. Okay, so, you know, it's, it's obviously, if you, if you buy an expensive ATV, you know, so, you know, it doesn't have the same big expensive shocks and all this stuff, but it's a price point thing. Correct. So what are these selling for? Yeah, so right now we've actually got a few in stock. We do have a little bit of a sale going on for the next couple weeks here. We've got these at $35.49 before tax and registration. Okay. So, man, um, and, and is that price for any one of those 110s. Correct, yep, whether it's the Outlaw or the Sportsman, they're both at that same price. At the same price. So let's let's walk over here to the Sportsman for a minute because the, 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 this is what I think is cool. So these look completely different just because of the of the uh, the body on them. Yeah. But they are exactly the same machine. They are pretty much, aside from your plastics and your headlights, um, the seat's a little bit different. The Outlaw gets a little bit narrower of a seat. Um, but other than that, mechanically and frame-wise, they're identical machines. So this one's set up more to look like, I would say, a traditional ATV. Yeah. And you have, uh, this is a sticker up here for a headlight, a sticker speedometer. But you actually have headlights down here. That's correct. Which is what that one had. It didn't have a speedometer or any gauges. So correct. you get a few extra decals on this one, maybe. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, the, 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 the inside where your foot sits, it looks a little bit different. A little bit narrower in the foot well. Um, yeah. Still nice, good spot to have good purchase with your foot. To but, you know, stay depending stable. on what you want and what you think your kid would want, you've got two very different body styles, yeah. more racer and more utility. Yeah. Um, you, you have some great choices. I love that they sell them at the same price. And you can see, you know, here, this helmet, again, like I said before, is color coordinated with the blue of the sportsman. That's correct. And you do have, a, there are a few accessories. This one you would be able to uh, to put on. Yeah, they got a few little basic accessories. I believe you can hey. get some rack extenders and stuff for them. But, right, um, right. Just like the other one, your shift lever's here. Your oil check and fill is down here. Your uh, air filter and battery yep. are underneath the seat with that release back here. And then, you know, your LED headlights or the tail lights are the same. Yep, this has the same single tail light, same suspension, the same motor. Uh, little different wheels on this one. Little bit different wheels, yep. So this is gonna be kind of more of like a, a traditional four-wheeler four tire, um, just a lot smaller, versus right. that's gonna be kind of more of your race-inspired tire. Right. But you sell lots of different tires. If someone wanted to put something different on, you certainly would have that here for them to change yeah. into? Yep, we could have that capability here. Okay, so the other differences maybe here is the seat, and in, in this is a little wider in the front mm -hmm. and the back, I would, th I think. It, yeah. To me, just visually it looks, and that's a little skinnier. Okay, um, now, other than that, you're still gonna have your front brake right here, your uh, rear brake with the lock mechanism right there for your parking brake, uh, horn running off, and then, of course, your start button. That's correct. I love it they have electric start. Electric start, fuel injection. Man, that's just awesome. So, um, if I'm gonna buy one of these, I'm gonna to wanna to know what the warranty is on. Yeah, so much like the Rangers, uh, you'll have the ability to get up to five years total of coverage. Okay. However, the Sportsman's, all of the ATVs, as well as the youth machines will only come factory with six months versus one year. Okay, so you have some options there. Correct. All right, and availability. If I were to walk in the store today and say, saw this on the video, want this, yeah, as of right now, at least, we do have pretty decent inventory of the Sportsman specifically. We are getting a little low on the Outlaws, but we could always order more. And you have, but you do have a couple of them. We do, yep. You do, okay. Uh, so, and then again, we'll just mention you know, the price on these because you have a sale going on. Yeah, as of right now today, uh, we've got these listed at $35.49 before tax and registration. Registration, you do have a couple options. They are technically big enough to be trail legal if your kid is old enough. Uh, ah, otherwise, so they you can are always, trail legal, okay. Correct. Um, otherwise, you could always just do private registration with the DNR just to get your name in the system so that if ever something happens, they know who owns it. What is the minimum age for these? Yeah, so your 110cc four-wheelers from Polaris are gonna be 10 or older, um, versus if you go up a little bit bigger to their Phoenix 200s, it'll be 14 and older. Okay, so depending on the age of your kids and what you're looking for, one of these might be the perfect option to get them started yeah. on. That's just awesome. 
And again, you hit, you sell the accessories here. You also service them here. We do service them here. We didn't talk here. about that, but you, if you ever need them serviced, of course, they're not yeah. hard to work on for the basic stuff, but yeah. if, if you ever did it, you, you provide that here. Yep. Okay. Well, Cody, thank you so much for taking us through these beautiful uh, Polaris 110s, uh, you know, the Outlaw and the Sportsman. I, I just still amaze me that they're exactly the same price. I mean, I yeah. know they're the same machine, but it seems like there's always a little difference in price, and you're running a great sale on them right now. So thanks for taking us through all these. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks for watching.